Hey, I'm going to walk you through our new thing for today, which is called Code Blocks. It's kind of a, a hybrid, a combination of Tinkercad and Scratch. So uh, log into Tinkercad. You had an account. We did a lot of projects in it. Um, then over on the left, click on Code Blocks. And uh, you won't have any code blocks. Um, so you can create a new code block. And uh, they offer some default projects, but they also offer a whole little introduction um, on how to use it. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and there's also a quick start guide. I'm going to just do a new design for now just to give you the, the quick and dirty view. Um, you drag over a block. And for this, there's no like when green flag clicked. You just have blocks. Uh, so there's no special top block. You can look. We have shapes. We have ways to modify the shapes like uh, moving, rotating, making them bigger, smaller, changing the colors, grouping. We have control, like looping. Um, we have uh, math things, and, uh, and we have commenting. So anyway, uh, if I just drag this block over, the create the box, and then over here on the right, on the top, you press uh, the play button. It goes ahead and makes a box, and uh, it's halfway. It's sort of centered at the middle here, which is zero zero. Zero, zero, zero. There's an X direction, a Y direction, and a Z direction. Um, um, I'll show you uh, real quick. If we do a move block, you can move this thing in the X direction, the Y direction, or the Z direction. Z is easiest. That's the up and down. I'm going to say 20. Um, so watch now. It's going to make this thing, and then it's going to move it up 20 spaces. You know, I don't know what the units are. It could be millimeters. Um, uh, what if I did 10 uh, on the X and uh, uh, negative 40 on the Y and then 20? We're going to see what happens. It makes a thing uh, and it moved it up. And uh, yeah, anyway, so you, you get the idea. There's, there's things. To get rid of a block, you drag it over here to the trash. You don't drag it to the left. Um, uh, when you're making a box, you can click on this little arrow. And you can make everything different. You've got the width, the length, and the height. So if I wanted like a really uh, narrow box and I wanted it to be uh, wider, um, I can press this go, and it makes that thing, you know, uh, again, centered at zero, zero. Um, uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, walk through uh, uh, their little tutorials right now. Um, so when you go to make a new one, um, and, and and I'd recommend trying this. Do the intro under activities. Let's do intro to shapes. And what it, what it's going to do is uh, walk uh, walk us through doing um, some things so that they, they introduce you and help you play with things. And it's a real helpful tutorial. So you don't have to watch my video if you want to just go ahead and do that tutorial. But on the other hand, if you're having trouble with that tutorial, you can watch my video. So they're saying drag a drag a block over, drag a box over, and then say play. Um, and then once you do it, you get this check mark, and you say continue. Um, so uh, now they're saying, hey, make it green. Um, so you click on this, and they're showing you in a little video here what they want you to do. So um, I think all they wanted here was to make it green. All right, we're good. Um, uh, they, they, then after each lesson, before you continue, you have an option to do other things. Um, and they're, uh, they said, Hey, check out the custom color tab, you know? Um, anyway, you don't have to do that second thing, but it's like an extra little enrichment on each thing. Um, okay. So now we're dragging over a box and they're saying, Hey, open this thing up and make the width 60. And then you again, press go over here and boom, got a thing. And they're saying, hey, you can change the width, the height, and the length. And um, you don't have to do that, but you can. Um, and then here they're saying, uh, make a box. This is 20 by 20 by 20. I mean, by default, it's 20 by 20 by 20. They're saying make one that's two times its current length. So we're going to say 40. And three times its current height. So we're going to say 60. And then uh, press go. Boom, we're good. Um, it's uh they're then they're saying hey you can create a bunch of different things um but we don't have to do that one uh oh this is uh 
it's too bad my little picture here isn't showing. Uh, I'll tell it to load the image, see if it'll show. It's still not showing. I don't know why, but it says match the length of the box to the hole in the surface. So I'm going to start by just running this and we'll just see. So what we need to do, you can also with the right right click, you can drag um, here and, and see, you know, you can change the angles and things. It's the same as Tinkercad. I'm going to try changing the length to 75. You know, I, I don't remember what. Um, okay, so that seems a little too far. Um, I'll try 70 and uh, yeah, great. I got the, uh, the thing there and then, and uh, they have a suggestion. You can switch to this mode, which is the flat mode instead of perspective mode, if, if that would help you. I, I don't know. I like the perspective mode better. Um, so again, they're asking us to match the height. So there's a height. Uh, if we just drag over the box, and press go. Uh, I can see, yeah, we got to get a lot taller here. Um, I'm going to, for the height, try 80. Uh, boom, I got it. Uh, and then I say continue. And this one, we have to match all attributes of it. So I'm just going to dump it in first and see. Um, by the way, there um, all these things say this may take several tries to complete. And this is an important point. This whole process is um, you need to be willing to press the play button multiple times and not not uh, feel like, oh, I don't know how to do this because I don't know how to do it perfectly first try. Um, I don't know. I just tried 60 for this and I can see, OK, I need to get bigger. Um, I'll try 70. Um, uh, that seems pretty good for left, right. Um, Forward, backwards, that's the length. I'm going to try 40. Um, we'll see. Yeah, that looks good. And then now we need height. Um, I'm going to try 80. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, not nearly enough. Um, maybe 120. Um, I could be going too far. Oh, it says I did it. I got the little, you're done with the lesson, stars, and uh, click to continue. So that's that whole intro to shapes lesson. Um, I'm going to keep going. You don't have to um, do these with me. Um, but if you're doing these and you're stuck, you can come back. Um, but also, keep going. I mean, this is just going to take a few minutes. They're saying add a star and then set the X input to 50. The move, the move block has X, Y, and Z. So if we say 50, what this does is it creates a star and then moves it 50 on the X direction. Um, uh, you know, that's how you move something around. Um, and uh, this one, they're showing us, uh, we've got the sphere tool and uh, they want us to change uh, Y to 80. So 80, um, and we say go, uh, and they're showing you, you know, positive Y is that way and negative Y is that way. Uh, you know, it's all trial and error, everybody. It's not, uh, you don't, don't be like, oh, I can't do this um, uh, cause I don't know exactly how to do it. You just, if, you, if it's not right, just, just change it. So they're telling us here to do 70 and then uh, you can hit tab if you want and then uh, 60 and uh, there we go. Um, and uh, they're saying if you wanna go above or below the work plane, you do the Z input. Um, uh, I'm just gonna show you. So if we did 30 for Z here and ran it, um, it moves over there and it moves up. So see when you pan and zoom, you can see, yeah, that lifted up 30. Um, okay, uh, they want us to place the cylinder inside the target and they gave us a handy little guide with the Y plus, the Y minus, X minus, X plus. So, um, we're gonna do, uh, uh, we're adding, now I think I'm gonna try 20 for X. And I'm going to try 70 for Y. You know, I don't, I did this a little bit ago. I don't, I don't remember. Um, okay, so 20 is not enough. I'm going to try 30 for the X. Let's just do one thing at a time. Does that seem, that seems like the right thing. And then I'm going to try 80 for Y. It could be 75, but you know, it's pretty easy to try. Yeah, there, I got it. And then if you want an extra challenge, you can try getting the star into that spot. I'm going to continue without doing that. Um, and now we want to get uh, the roof 
uh, they're saying using just four blocks, a roof and a heart and two moves, um, we're going to uh, get the roof over to its spot and the heart over to its spot. So I'm going to do negative 30 for the X and 70 for the Y. So let's just see what happens with the roof. Um, okay, I need to go farther to the left, negative 40. By the way, they're all like tens or, you know, fives, but not you're not going to get 41 on these things. And this one, I'd say for Y, let's go minus 20. And for X, let's go, uh, I'm going to try 70. It's probably not 70. But... Oh, nailed it. Cool. And then um, they give you uh, other things to try, but we're not going to try them right now. And um, they're saying, hey, do a box and uh, a roof and move the roof on top of the box. So um, um, that's Z. Up and down is Z. And um, I'm going to try 10. I don't remember what um, uh, you can see. Not quite enough. Uh, how about 15? Um, one thing to remember on this is that the uh, box, is, when it appears, is halfway, you know, it's like halfway underneath the grid. Um, all right, so then now we're making a, uh, we're trying to make a tree. So we're going to drag over a sphere, and we're going to drag over a cone, and we're going to drag over a move on the sphere and a move on the cone. And um, uh, I think the sphere we're set except for color. We want to make it green because it's supposed to be a tree. And for the tree, uh, I think it's, I mean, I'm colorblind. I'm trying for that brown. Um, uh, for this one, uh, I think the bottom radius, I can't remember if it was like three, um, but let's try it. And so the tree, we've got to lift up the, the big round part. I'm going to try lifting it up 40. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, that's way too much. Um, why don't we lift it up 20 and uh, see if it's the same height? Yeah, that's the same height. And then the tree trunk, we need to lift up. Why don't we lift it up 10 and see what happens? Um, bingo. Got it. Cool. So just because I can, I'm going to go through the, the last one. And again, you don't have to watch this if you want to just get started. Um, this just covers rotation tools, which are important. Um, uh, you have to choose what you're going to rotate around, uh, the X axis, the Y axis, or the Z axis. Um, and uh, uh, this one, uh, they're asking us to rotate around Z. Uh, uh, you got to change it right here if you want to do a Z thing. Um, so um, that's that. We just rotated our heart around. I'll run it again so you can see. Um, and uh, uh, these get a little nuts, but um, they're saying, hey, make a heart and rotate it so it points at the orange, uh, at the orange thing. So I, I know that's rotating around Z. So let's see what happens if we just do 90 degrees. Okay, that, that kind of went too far, right? So we're gonna go 45 degrees. It makes the heart and it turns 45 degrees and we're good. And you can optionally try to get it to go to the green green one. Um, uh, why don't we try 135? I forget. I forget what it wants. No, um, like 240 degrees. Uh, yeah, not quite. Um, 235 or 245? Kind of seems like I can't remember. No. Uh, negative 120. I can see it's translating whatever I write into a different number. So I'm going to try their numbers. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, it looks pretty close. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um, you don't have to do the second one on each one. Um, here we're going to add a pyramid. And then... Uh, they want us to have it point at the red target. And it says, hey, this may require several tries. So um, let's get a pyramid out and let's just put something on here and see what happens. Okay, so um, uh, I think, 
I want to turn around the z-axis. No, z is useless on this one. Let's do the y-axis and let's try 45. Ooh, negative 45, I think will get us in the right spot. Mm, almost, uh, maybe negative 60. Let's try that. Beep. Got it. So, you know, if you want, you can try the other one. Um, uh, this one, again, we're getting a pyramid and we want it to point at the red target. So we're going to do a, and they're telling us what to do here. Okay, so we're doing X by 90 and we're doing Z by 90. Let's see what happens. Boom. Yeah, so it's just showing you how you can do more than one in a row. And uh, here they're saying, hey, put a heart over in that spot over here. Um, so uh, I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm going to do a rotate before I move. I'm going to rotate around the Z axis by 45, and then I'm going to go uh, 60 and 60, just because it seems, I'm just going to give that as a guess. Oh, that's totally wrong, but let's just show you that even Mr. Hayes gets things wrong. So that's maybe too far on the X, but I notice that this is supposed to be negative. I'm going to go 50s instead of the 60s. So let's see how that goes. Um, oh, you know, maybe on the X, it's the right amount on the X, but the Y looks like negative 70. I mean, I'm just guessing, so. Boom, got it. Awesome. Continue. And, uh, oh yeah, so I got this, but um, because I'm colorblind, I couldn't get the right colors. Anyway, I'm going to make uh, first the lollipop uh, uh, handle or yeah, handle the white part, the gray part. Um, I figured out last time that this is a one and, uh, let's just run it and see, is that, um, so that's not big enough and it's the wrong color. So let's try 40 and let's try, uh, I'm really doing my best. I'm just going to say it's white though. Let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, that looks like about the right height. Um, I don't know for sure. And uh, I don't think we have to move that one. So then we're going to get uh, this one. Uh, we're making the lollipop top. And uh, I'm going to say uh, we'll keep the same radius. Um, I'm going to do a height of five. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so, uh, you know, that, that could be right. We have to rotate it um, around, I think. The y-axis, let's see. Nope, it's the x-axis we gotta do. So see how it's not a big deal to just try stuff. Um, also, we gotta make the color right. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, and uh, they, I noticed they're blinking things and like telling us stuff, which is great. It kind of shows you where you gotta go. Um, and so finally, we need to move this up um, I don't really remember what we're doing in terms of values, but we're moving that up and that's not quite enough. I go 30 at this point. Let's see if that, um, loop. Hey, I actually, I got it. That's awesome. Um, um, I will also mention there's this whole quick start guide, um, and I'm not going to go through it right now, but I'll, I'll just click on it and it walks you through a lot of this stuff as well. So my video would become too long if we, um, but you can click next and go through the whole quick start guide if you want. Anyway, I hope this helps you get started.